to marry you. That is a question I often inquire of myself, madam, to which there is no satisfactory answer save one, perhaps, and that is that no one else would have you. Only a man who drinks could talk like that. We escape the unendurable however we can. Merely for purposes of enlightenment, Mr. Trumbull, I could have been the greatest opera singer in the world. What world? If the vocal emissions of a laryngitic crow be qualifications, yes, then perhaps you could have been. If my father chose to spend his hard-earned profits on the collection of curious objects, that he was his business. He did more than collect me. curious objects, madam. He also fathered one. I despise you! <laughs> what I wouldn't do to get her down here as a customer. Good afternoon, Mr. Trumbull. Trumbull! Will you learn to pronounce my name correctly? I said Mr. Tremble. Mr. Tremble. Trumbull. I said Tremble. Mr. Tremble. Trumbull. I said Mr. Tremble. Well, well, I'm going out and drink myself into a state of stupefaction. Ah, oh, the streams flowed, lapping, lapping, and the leaves stirred, tapping, tapping, and the ancient bell dames napping. <laughs> Dreamed of gently rapping, rapping, rapping gently with a hammer on a baby's skull. Hmm. I am afraid, madam, that he has made his final crossing to that Stygian shore. What? He's dead. Sit down, Mr. Gilly. Comfortable, Mr. Gilly? <laughs> well, Mr. Gilly. 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 Exactly, Mr. Gilly. You are most accommodating, Mr. Gilly. How gratifying, Mr. Gilly, to have a, a master craftsman in one's employ. You're probably the most inept housebreaker in all of New England. That's true. Did you try the knob? No. Why? Quiet. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe there's a bolt on the inside. There's a bolt on the inside of your head, Mr. Gilly, and it's loose. <laughs> I just thought... Well, don't. You don't do it very well. Me for bed. Allow me, madam, in this moment of your most desolate bereavement, to lift from your sorrow-laden shoulders the burdensome tasks of exequy and sepulture. What? I'll bury him for you. If you make one more sound. Oh, I think I did. Are you kidding? Dear child. Dear child, what is amiss? Oh, sir, my master has to all appearances succumbed in his sleep, and I must run to fetch the doctor. Oh, cataclysmic circumstance. Perhaps I can be of assistance. Oh, sir, could you? Well, I believe I could. <laughs> Take oh. me to your mistress. Oh, and... yes, sir, thank you. Oh, not at all, my dear, not at all. It is my pleasure to help. <laughs> no one in their right mind would be caught dead in that thing. <laughs> Mr. Trumbull, sir, Mr. Black wanted... Can't trust anybody these days. The world is full of knaves and felons. Good day to you, you penny-pinching old pig. Well? It's impossible to get inside. Even the windows? Every one of them has a bolt. Why, of all the... Well, I will not be denied. Well, how nice to see you here, Mr. Black. <laughs> You're not going to embalm him tonight. We haven't embalmed anybody in six years. Why should we start now? Shall I give him some medicine? Hmm? <laughs> You're eating much too much sugar, you know that, don't you? Mmm, my medicine. I'll have you arrested. Medicine, old man. Don't you dare. Do you really think I'm going to let you poison my own father? <laughs> Hope springs eternal in the human. <laughs> yeah. Will you stop that ungodly caterwauling? Must have been an earthquake. 
I wish you wouldn't have picked that. Another song. I wish your vocal cords would snap. You yeah. don't think he's quite dead enough yet. <laughs> <laughs> Found you too, sir. Will you kindly have the goodness to die? Never! There must be a little more honest way to conduct a funeral business. I might expect that kind of talk from a criminal. To uh, paraphrase the venerable adage, we shall kill two birds with one pillow. Oh, don't be like that. Get away from me! You know, I, I wonder what idiot ever thought of putting bodies in a crypt instead of in the ground where they belong. Yeah, and they fertilize plants, too. What a terrible thing to say. Shut up. Am I so repulsive? That's the word, yes. <laughs> Something's been opening doors around here. But what? <laughs> and you reject me? As long as there's liquor in the house. The devil damn the black, the cream-faced room. I thought he was dead. He'll never die. Oh, good work. It's a little better in a, in a dog. What is decapitation? If you let go of me, let go of me, let go of me. Go and find your own hiding place. And then is heard no more. That I'll believe when I see it. Women. <laughs> Soon put your trust in them as put a pistol to your head. Go to bed. You wouldn't Emily. dare. Oh, oh no, of course not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's next? An eye for an eye, Mr. Tremble. Tremble. I said Tremble. Keep no quarter, take no prisoner. Forwards. Oh, to hell with it. Well, if you can't lick them, join them. to take care of you nicely. Mm. <laughs> well, might as well go up to bed. Nothing going on, as usual. Nothing ever happens here. Every day, same old thing. No change, no variety. <laughs> when I was young, <laughs> we knew how to live. <laughs> See you in the morning. <laughs>